Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to make a copy of a Google Doc for yourself. Uh, when I assign uh, assignments to students, sometimes I use a Google Doc with instructions or a worksheet or something like that. But I can't allow the student to edit my Google Doc because otherwise it would edit for all the students who see it. So when they go to edit it, it feels like it's locked and, oh, I can't edit it, and maybe they'll request permission to edit it or something like that. But I can't grant that permission because it messes with what other students are going to see. So I want to show you the two ways that you can make a copy of a Google Doc by yourself. First off, if you are logged in to your Google account and you see your little uh, name and whatever and avatar up here, go to File, and you'll be able to make a copy and it allows you to come up with a name, so you can name it with your name. The default name here is copy of whatever the file name is, and just say, make a copy. And that creates a brand new Google Doc that belongs to you that you can edit and goes right into your Google Doc, your Google Drive. The other option that also works, and this works well if you like working in Word or if for whatever reason you're not logged into Google Docs, go to Edit right here and select all and see how it selects all of the text in the worksheet. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control C for copy. I'm going to open a Word file. This is a Word file on another screen. And then I'm going to press Control V and it pastes it into a Word file for me. And that also works into a blank Google Doc or any other word processing program you want to use. And it's all yours to edit as you want to.